Like, nigga. So, this is part two. I realized that the recording stopped. That's another reason why I don't record, y'all. Like, I be talking so long and long-winded that I just, I don't know. I'm a live streamer, nigga. Like, don't know why I be having time. Like, we already got these devices where, like, you got to figure space out after a point. Like, if at one point it feel like you could download everything in the goddamn world, but now your ass can't do shit, you dig? So, like... But, uh, I was talking about how, actually, let me, because I had to come get my other phone. Let me see what the hell I said last. See, this how structured live apping got me. Not I said live apping. Oh, I know exactly what I was talking about. I was talking about how, like, me and my friends our healing and our mothers and our people that surround us aren't healing as fast as we are or didn't get the gist as fast as we did like and it's literally our generation like like I could even say y'all don't even look at it on the spectrum of even like everybody got it from our generation everybody like in some shape or form everybody from my generation talk like this in a sense like they they understand spirituality and i mean i'm saying my generation as in like people right now that's probably like i can't say 32 or 33 because i can't speak on that but i can say from people that was born that's well, people that's 31 today to like, uh, I can't really speak. I'd say about 25 or a little younger. Or even the rest of the world. I feel like we get it. I feel like we going to be in this new world. I feel like we're going to be the ones healing faster and teaching these old heads how to heal. Even y'all, y'all got to understand, like, they not getting out of their city. They not a lot. Of, I ain't gonna say the day as in a big special, but like here, traveling, doing all like our parents, they like they done. Like it's like they, of course they gonna travel and shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's like they feel like this is it. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay for them to feel like that. They embedded in that. But I feel like I'm healing. And I feel like I feel, since I've healed, spirit has nudged me to get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like I was saying in my last video, I pushed my first girlfriend to move out of the state. Like, I've always moved out of the state. Like, even as a kid, like, I wanted to go, like, every summer I go live with my aunt or my dad, some shit, you know, and it's like, that always nudged me and made me, because they used to want me to get, want me to, nigga, I used to lie and say I, I, I was born in Atlanta, nigga, like, when I was, like, in middle school, nigga, like, that's how bad this shit is, like, because <laughs> they wanted me to go, come live in Atlanta, and it literally was, like, my second home. And, like, my third home was, like, New Orleans. But I never, and my whole, like, mass, I ain't going to say my whole masculine side because that's ignorant. But, uh, like, my dad, my, I say my dad because I don't think, I think my grandma had, I ain't going to count, bro. I think my grandma had three baby daddies. And I can understand why. I can, I can, cause she a cancer. So, and I feel like since she a cancer, she's cancer is known to be the most nurturing sign, and they right behind Gemini. So I know for a fact she probably had the energy differently from my mama, cause my mama a Gemini. She get scared. She got scared, and she didn't get back in love. My grandma, she kept trying. Because she know she, I don't know, it's just something about her energy. She knew that she should have kept trying. You know what I'm saying? So, 
and I can see my grandma living somewhere. I just, it's just an energy to to not see the same thing in my mom. It just lets y'all know I know these people. Like, I know them, like, type shit. My grandma and my mom are quote-unquote hoarders, but my grandma never got as bad as my mom when it comes, never, ever, 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 like, like, I even equate some of that shit to me, because I was such a troubled kid, like, I, like, what the fuck, like, I fucked my mama up, bro, because she, she's just not, you know what I'm saying, so, long story short, the point of coming on this whole was to tell y'all about, or tell the idea of why people, why, like, we gotta, I ain't gonna say why, we gotta get the fuck this is why I say, used to say, get out the box or get out. Like, get out was one of my things I used to say. But it really wasn't get out the box. It was like, get out of the way of a of, of thought process of feeling like you can't have a fairy tale. And because of the movie Get Out and just this movie I used to watch. This show I used to watch called Once Upon a Time. Shit too motherfucking raw. But like, we gotta get to the point where we, we, we feel comfortable with dating other races, getting out of our country. Like, you can't. But I understand the way we gotta do it is by healing because I'm telling y'all, I don't know what all of a sudden, like, what? I gotta. I've been saying for the last two or three days, I got a type. The last two, three, four days, I got a type. I got a type. So, how in the fuck on the other side of the Gemini, nigga, I... That's what I be talking about. When one start chirping, they all start chirping. They be waking each other. They be talking, bro. Y'all don't realize, but they be talking shit to each other. Like, nigga, like, yeah, you woke, all right, y'all. I'm woke, nigga, shit crazy. And this bitch out here talking, she gonna shut the fuck up. She need to take her ass back in the house. Man, leave that bitch. Man, leave that little bitch alone, man. <laughs> I imagine they talk like the OGs on the corner. Like, well, in the hood, early morning, like, we wake. I. I've been an OG since I was a teenager, so you did. But anyway, we gotta get the fuck out of here, bro. My OGs are so raw. One OG used to tell me, you should go to outer space and be the first rapper from outer space. One of my OGs told me, well, that's the same OG that used to try to get me to pimp for his ass. Not even Matt Down. He used to go try to get me to go get the girls, bring them to him. So, <laughs> he can fuck them. And I get the money or whatever. But this an OG of mine, like, and it's crazy, man, that I can't really confirm the shit. But I can confirm it because my sister was there. My my trap partners was there. It did, like, everybody seen, like, me always going over here, but they never seen me leave with the person, none of that. Like, all I used to do was smoke with their ass, drink with their ass. Like, we didn't even eat together type shit, like, type shit. But, nigga, I learned so much from the motherfucking OG. I learned how to not deal with no drunk people. I learned all type of shit, nigga. Like, because I always gravitated just like, it was this lady I feel like y'all trying to keep me on point so I don't, y'all distracting me so I don't talk about this. Yeah, let me not talk about this because it's not that deep. Uh, I want to tell y'all how, like, I met this lady that, like, went to school for being a lawyer. Um, even got, she even got connects to Maya Angelou, like, type shit, and she do poetry. But she didn't even like, a, she even still like a mama to me, like, like, that's one of my main hood mamas. He did. But it's like, I learned early on how drunks can act from her. My mom didn't drink. 
my dad was never around like that. I know he, I know that he drank, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't know enough about drugs and shit back then to be like, oh, is this affecting him? Or I didn't even know that. I don't even know if I was thinking about healing back then. So it's like, what, like, I wasn't thinking to question what the hell he do and like. I questioned the cigarettes because I know I smoke cigarettes. Like, man, I don't know. I still was cool with my dad, like, as a adult. It just got to a point where it's like, bro, like, you just... I had to accept who he is, like, and what he went through. And that's how I did my mom. But I also had to accept, I'm not them. Get the fuck... I don't have to date in my race. I want to. I want to get married to somebody in my race. But, like, like I was saying in the other video, too, just the South is different. Like, people want to say it's not that much of a variety. Like, the spectrum is not that big. Y'all don't understand. A lot of people right here in Mobile, right here in my hood, bro, don't realize they can literally walk to water. They don't realize it's water. Right there. <laughs> it's right over there. <laughs> like, it's, and it's over there. Like, it's water. All over that bitch. It's like water 10 minutes away from there. Like, legit shit. If I get on my bike, if I get on a bike, it could legit take me like. I can't say for sure because I ain't rode no bike in a while. But probably would take a nigga like 10, 15 minutes to get to some water. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, like, it's crazy. This shit is, these people don't even realize, though, you live, you look, you looking at California like it's so special, right? But nigga, you live on the Gulf Coast. It, like, like, nigga, you looking, you looking outside your own, like, we looking outside our city, even though how we look up to people everywhere here, look up to New Orleans, and I understand why we do, but we in Mobile need to understand New Orleans look up to us in a big way. We are like twins. That's like our twin city. We're like the the we're like the quietest kept city, and they're publicized. You did know what I'm saying, like. But it also, that's a price that they paying. Like, it's not a hundred percent good. Like, it's good to be the spooky city, but it's not. It's not a hundred percent good to be on that side of the spectrum because your city also is taking sacrifices. Your city is also being open to more spirits and more spirits that is jealous, envious, evil towards your city, like all type of shit. Like you know how many spiritualists is talking against New Orleans right now? You know what I'm that's what well I ain't gonna say that's why I don't talk against shit. Like or I try not I just try to tell the story as good as I can. Like that's why I'm telling y'all, like, we look up to New Orleans. But to think we any less or to think that they're any better is absurd because we come from the same history. Like, before the Louisiana Purchase, we, us, Mississippi, and Louisiana was all one. And it just was shaped different. Like, I think, like... At the top part, it was shaped, but at the bottom, we was all one, bro. It did like we was all one uh, sovereign, like you know what I'm saying. We was all one city, like not city. Uh, I want to say state or whatever, but I don't know if I can say that. Like, I love my fucking city, bro. Like, but and then. Learning about portals of the, a city. Like, we've learned about portals in so many different ways. Why the fuck do we need somebody on TikTok? Like, the Black Cauldron. 
to tell us this place has a portal, this place has so you feel like the little place that you're from that it didn't it it didn't wake up in your city until a rapper woke that bit. Like, you feel me? You feel like that little place don't got no portal. Ain't keeping you stagnant. And then you you can you just never know how traveling could even make you more afraid and want to stay like the the fearful things you hear about in traveling and people going and how people treat Americans and this that and the, nigga I'm finna get out I, I almost put myself in that box you gotta get out like you gotta believe that you can have a fairy tale like that shit was created because that is the ultimate shit like Disney and whoever the fuck told y'all the secret to life but you fucking you 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 <laughs> the, on, the only secret to life I feel is family like if you don't get to a point where you appreciate that shit your life is fucked bro like it's I don't know and I just don't know what to tell I don't know what to tell you nigga like if you don't get that shit it's not too much other shit that even fucking... Ma- like, that's what Lauren Hill understood. Like, okay, do I go to this concert and perform for these motherfuckers that will literally throw money at my feet for just walking by? Or do I focus on my healing right now because last week I just cut somebody out, da 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 and I'm a human, and the retrograde fucked up, and the stars is affecting me. The 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 portal where I live is affecting me. Everything is affecting me, and I think I need to be on. I'm gonna stay at home to be more on point for my kids and my family because this is more important. I do not want this to be in balance. Not in this realm. I don't want not in this realm. Y'all don't feel. Y'all feel realize. Lauren was a goddamn Taurus cuss Gemini, I believe. Um, I think her birthday is the 22nd. I could be wrong. It could be like the 27th or some shit. Like, but I know that she's a Gemini cusper. Like, so it's like, I I would rather like once I got my heart broke, my spirit was telling me, bro, just nigga, just do your spirituality and make your money. Fuck your bitches, live your life. But then I'm like, no, we got to try this shit again, bro. I always do this. I always, I'm like, no, we got to try this again. I always think of ways to, like, fuck it. We just going to have fun. But then it's like, nah, not yet. I just got to get a foundational bitch. Like, Bitch, can I find, like, nigga, can I find a woman that's gonna love my ass for the fuck ever? Like, it's not, that's the wrong thing anyway. That's gonna treat me right forever. That's gonna cater cater to my needs. That's gonna dedicate her life to what I'm dedicating my life to. Like, it's, you did what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about on a scale of, I look at this shit like robotics. Or like a video game. Like, even like if it's something that I need to fix within myself, I'm going to tweak that shit and I'm going to fix it. I've been doing this shit since I was a teenager, nigga. This is all I know how to do. Even with that, I have to find somebody that can handle that. That that can handle that my mind heals. Like, I can be like, you know what? It's time for us to move here. The portal, the energy has shifted. It's time to go. And, like, I'm sick of being the one that has this mind. And people understand it when I'm speaking them facts about other shit. But when I'm speaking facts about shit that they're afraid of, it means nothing to them. So, and I speak that shit for uh, Ira, too, because Ira been trying to get us out the country or whatever. But then it's like, bro... I used to feel like, what you getting off the grid for when you don't know? Your body has no understanding of that world that you talking about living in. Like, your body will 
could uh, self-destruct because you trying to get out the grid, nigga. Like, all you know is the grid. The fuck? You finna go put some new food in your body. I'm talking about even to the grass. That's a whole no- Like, now I bet they see. But back then, I couldn't tell them what I was trying to tell them. Just like, I was just trying to tell them. You can't even leave the city and thinking that you gonna have the same construct like your spirit how could I say this you can't even leave the city like you can't go off the grid expecting your 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 construct to just be on point with all the new shit that you're trying and doing no nigga you're you're used to radiation your body is used to bullshit poison your body is used to uh, oh, shit, vegetation. your body is used to vegetation that's um uh, that's poison your body is used to uh all type of shit that's poison so for you to think that you could just go somewhere else and not get vaccinated and not get bro you asking to die you asking the fucking like you're not it's like People forget what the fuck, what the fuck these vaccinations and shit is. It's, it's a form of the fucking shit that's there. So your body can get immune to it. So if you are to get sick, you did what I'm saying? You will be good. That's the point. That's the whole point of vaccinations. People forget about this shit. It's like. It's like y'all be studying, but y'all don't be studying. You know what I'm talking about? You be listening, but you don't be, like, I'm the type of person, I will watch a documentary or I'll watch a movie, and I know I got to watch it back because I miss too much stuff. Like, I know it. I just, I could be watching it and be like, yeah, I got to watch this again. Because this little part, I have to see it again, and I want to see it all break down. I even watch shows like that. Like, you know how elusive the fucking shows that I watch is? So just like right now, I'm watching um, Ruthless. That's the only show I'm watching. But can you imagine how long? Or just like, nigga, I thought I was leaking. Like, I thought my nipples was leaking. Hold on. Because, hey, 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 I should not be leaking. But, <laughs> but like man I just I'm just like, so appreciative like the mindset I done built like so right now where I'm at I'm in my mom's crib so but I have this loud ass fan on because I do this you get what I'm saying I do this all the time and I'm online all the time and I don't care for headphones cause I got some little bit of ears and my that shit hurt like, I can't fall asleep with headphones in my ear. It just doesn't, it don't work. I actually get a sore if I do that. That's the. That's what happened last time. So, anywho. Um, yeah, bro. Get your, get your ass, get your family out the country, bro. Like, just, and what I mean by that, like, bro, research where you going. Like, I'm not talking about vacating. I'm talking about just like people, like since I was little, I ain't gonna say little, since I was younger and been researching and I used to study getting off the grill or living in the bush or living Ital with Rastas, like you know what I'm saying? Look up Ital, I-T-A-L, uh, eating Ital with Rastas or some shit, like look, look that up or living in the bush with Rastas. You hear me? Um, or Jamaicans living in the bush or living off the grid, Jamaica. Like, I'm serious. This is shit I used to obsess over. But, like, and that stuff, reason I used to obsess over that stuff because, like, I had nothing else. Like, you gotta know. I learned your spirituality. You kind of gotta stay in that energy. Or it is, like, it is just miss you. It'll miss you, it'll call you, all that, like, you, it's,
Oh, definitely best to stay in that energy, though. Sure, if you ain't figured it out yet, you need to get out the house. Cause I don't even go there no more for real. Walmart. Even like we could get all our like my s <coughs> that is not my sister. Okay, baby, <coughs> that is not my sister. She too fine. But anyway, I mean her spirit. But she said that. Uh, Something about moving to Asia. Uh, something about moving. I want to go to Europe, Asia, or some type of Caribbean land. It could even be Hawaii, nigga. Like I just, you know, I just feel like <coughs> this land fucked up, bro. Right now, we're targeted. We're most hated. I just like it's like I'm sick of it. I'm just, I don't know, even, I'm sick of even this. Going places, and that's all they talk about, is USA. Like, I, I'm sick of going to my phone and the president coming up. I don't, I mean, if I, if, if I would, if I had to choose a president right now, the choice is scary. You get what I'm saying? The choice is like, I've never been so unaware of where the fuck I am. Like, it's like, bro, this shit is more than a movie than I've ever seen in my whole life. Like, what the motherfuck? Y'all gotta think about it, even the, like, it's like, what? Kamala Harris is running for president. Hold up. That ain't supposed to be. It's like, it's like they plan, I think. It's like they give us a little bit. And then it's like, we manifest. They tell us that we're manifest. We spoke it into it. Mm, but the whole construct of USA, it's like a whole, the whole media show, the whole tell our vision. It's like, we learn from them how to behave on television, from learning stuff from others is what I'm saying so we put it's like recycling energy back and forth and back and forth it's like our desires is what's making this ritual continue it's what's making us dance around like puppets like AI motherfucker ooh I like my little AI that's the first time I ever seen it uh, which I understand. That's why I'm getting in a video game. It's not because I'm. I don't want to play video games because I just feel like I feel like it's a. It's why I want to play because I feel like it's a better outlet, another outlet to meet people. It has nothing to do with like just a man. I can be a tarot reader <laughs> on GTA. Like you feel me? Like I be thinking shit like that. Like. I can be a well-known terrorist on GTA. Like, nigga, you feel me? Like, like I call myself Baby Terror. <laughs> and I was on anime as fuck. Like, you get what I'm saying? And I'm late as hell to anime. I'm late to anime. I'm late to video games. You did. But Asia, for many reasons. Like, what? Like, I feel like anything that they let us get a whiff of from Asia was all raw shit. Like, what? Like, even to, um, I could tell y'all the other shit that came to my mind. I want to say Rush Hour was the movie I'm thinking of, but I forgot what I was thinking of. Because I was having like a, a rumbust, combustion of thoughts. It was getting crazy in my mind just now, but anyway. Like, man, but I feel like a lot of people also don't realize where you deserve it. Like, it's not, it's not that deep. Like, 
the stuff you be seeing happen on see it's not that deep just like bro i had a c-section nigga when i say it's not it's not that deep you ever ask god for something not to happen and watch it happen and then realize it's not that it, 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 it wasn't even that deep you went through it so don't worry about fucking dying bro like you gotta get you gotta get to that point i'm telling you like of course i fear dying you get what i'm saying that's not what i'm saying i fear dying but i i even i came up in a different time i came up in a time y'all like i'm a millennial and it's like during the 2012 time I'm pretty sure a lot of the, most of the backpack rappers are like Kendrick Lamar, ASAP Rocky, the um, the Odd Futures. That's Tyler the Creator. Um, like Chance the Rapper. Like we could, everybody was trying not Frank Ocean. Everybody was trying not to be afraid of dying they was trying to figure out how to live through the 2012 is experience what i want to call it like but it was a real thing people act like that that era didn't happen that was the most healing fucking era like probably i done went through and then in the corona era the obama era was healing for our culture but not as healing as not as nowhere near healing as what I was just saying. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. But, y'all, y'all wouldn't even believe, I have trained my mind how to rediscover my train of thought, but I have to remember it and put it back into practice and try to keep practicing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I get, try to get people to understand, but if they don't, if they ain't experienced it, if they self, like, I, I literally be giving people cue cards on how to fuck me over instead of actually giving them energy to help themselves. Like, which is crazy. Like, either you understand what I just said or you don't. Like, I gotta stop trying to break everything down. Get the fucking, get the fuck out the country, yo. Like, do not let me. Everybody be talking about, I don't want to be my parents. I don't want to be like my mom and my dad. Like, you realize your mom and your dad is the way they is because they out of touch with reality. They think this is all there is to life. They don't have a broad spectrum of reality. They, they don't know. But it ain't it ain't their fault. The fuck? People be thinking it's our fault because we do the thing. No, you up on the you up on the ritual. I'm going to like I'm this is what y'all don't understand. The normal shit is ritual. You're up on we're up we're <laughs> drinking this type of juice, this ritual. Smoking a vape instead of weed for me is rich is ritual. I'm doing it because I want to do it. This is a this is a ritual. This, you know what I mean? Like, I would have never knew about no vapes if media wouldn't have put it in my face. And I did you know what I'm saying. I would have never knew about vapes if it was another alternative for smoking something I was already doing that was put in my face by the media. Like, I. Y'all know how many, y'all know that most of us probably wouldn't even be addicted to weed if it wasn't for Wiz Khalifa. Like, it's a, it's a whole culture of just, it's a whole culture in USA of people that don't overly roll. People that only roll what they need. People that realize that the more you smoke, Let's high you get. So let me just only smoke every other day instead of spending 50, 100, 200, 400. 
me, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, like, this is the type, this is the type shit we be on, but yeah, we gotta get out of the country, bro, like, I'm so big on getting out of it, like, just like I put this shit in mind, I'm pretty sure by, by the two months, I'm gonna have, like, five women trying to get me to come to where they at. It's just how easy this shit is for me. <laughs> I already got one, two. And then five motherfuckers I was just talking about, but we ain't gonna bring her because we got some other shit going. We got some business going. And y'all would never know who the fuck I'm talking about because they not even on the app that I'm talking about. But... This app I'm on, it's another thing I want to talk about. This shit been confirming the, uh, the shit too. Like, I go on somebody live and they talking about, uh, they, this is right. I went somebody live the other day. This man was, I found out the dude was spiritual. He was supposed to be on Super Show. I found out the dude was spiritual watching him. And I found out that. Uh, well, I found out that he was a key. Like, I never went to his live before. I just went to his live that day, honestly, because nobody else is live. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's Kerwan. Let me see if, uh, see why he didn't go to the show. Why he didn't want to go to the show. And I found out why, but it's not my business. And so, with that man so hard because he was literally sitting up there like being a master manifester. He was like, this man don't understand my language, but that's my husband. Like, and I'm pretty sure other people do this too. Like, it's, he's not the first person that did this on live, but I just wasn't, I don't think I was aware. I don't think I was smart. Like, smart enough to even think about it. Like, even like, this is what I'm thinking of in my head. I'm just not telling y'all. I forgot to tell y'all. They can't understand your, our language like that. So, he was going off the energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I could feel the energy. I could understand why. Like, it's like certain things. It just triggers. You know what I'm saying? Like, like recently, one of me and the girls on the app, we was trying to tell this one guy that I was confirming something she was talking about in the comments. I was, I was in the comments and I was saying that yeah, bro, it's the way you wearing your do rag. People on this app will feel like you gay. I'm sorry. It's 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 just a trigger for this, especially these apps. Like, people on these apps made this shit popular the gays made this shit the best shit that came out of coronavirus since sliced bread you did <laughs> whatever the fuck that means smoking less because this smell on me and I got my son I ain't fucking with it like that cause I just don't want to be the reason like he have uh, a sickness or whatever and then we got these fans going uh, the weather the, the humidity has been weird and like I, I had to get in uh, what the shit called it's humidifier right so yeah, type shit like yeah, like yeah. So yeah, but um, yeah. So recently, after I had pneumonia, <laughs> but I don't know if it was after pneumonia or if it was after my little Zan party. It probably was after my little Zan party because. I told myself, right, we're never doing those again. Because even after that, 
Rich Homie died. And, um, alright, I got triggered. I'm gonna say that. I didn't. Well, I'm not here to talk about Rich Homie. Okay? Long live Rich Homie. Literally long live, because he's not dead. Like, <laughs> it's fucked up that I look at death like that. We don't die. Like, I don't, and it's not that I'm making a mockery out of. What I'm saying is, when he passed, this is the first death that I felt like he ain't dead. Like, I didn't have a reaction. My only reaction was, it was like something tugging on me to care, like, and be hurt by the shit. But then I'm like, bro, I ain't dead. And now I'm realizing it's because you're spiritual, you're stupid. It ain't that he's not dead. He's dead in this realm. Because I was thinking, what if he got down and he's still alive? Like, come on, these folks, these folks tapped out. It don't even matter if they, they vessel is still here or not. They vessel is empty. Their soul is an empty probably. They gone. And what I mean by tap dot, I believe that people, because of Smoking Aces movie, I do believe people change their face. And because of my favorite artist in the world, I'm not going to say his name, I feel like people construct their face to look like other people. And they stay, they'll fake their death. And, and it, but I don't even know how to talk about that on here. So, let me do that. But, uh, also, the reason I do stuff out the camera, y'all, is a habit. Because I be on good apps. But I'm done talking for real. I'm just long-winded because I'm used to, I ain't gonna say I'm used to talking to other people. I'm used to just being long-winded. The fuck, like, but y'all, still when you like, stay lit, literally, right? Like, enjoy your motherfucking life, like, and then I want people that know me to look at this shit and know what's been going on, right? And look how I ain't do nothing but say positive shit about things that's been going on in my actual life. I ain't gonna say I only say positive shit, but people that know I have not mentioned any negative shit that went up. Probably the only negative note that don't have that in me to talk about. All I had to talk about was get your dumb ass out. First of all, get out your hood. See your city. Learn about your city. Love your city. Then leave. You can come back. If that's your... You know what I mean? Leave, nigga. It's, it's like... It's like... It's like hoarding. You don't know how to let shit go. Like, you don't know how to even... Reaccumulate shit. Like, let it go. You might... Don't need it right now, and then come back in your life when you need it. That's simple mouth. Simple mouth. But, uh, I'm gonna go, y'all stay abundant, be like, stay lit, literally. I mean, stay abundant, stay in the energy of abundance. Look up abundance. Learn what abundance means. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Stay abundant. Be like, be the light that's in you. Stay lit. Stay lit. Stay lit. Stay lit. Let that light shine. Like let it. This little light in my head is like let it. I, I, I can't say little light. Like, this little light of mine low. I don't want to wake up the house. All the kids sleep in this school day, so I don't want to wake up the house. But yeah. You gotta let that shit shine. Let your light shine. It, it's it's gonna come through. You're walking and crawling, it's gonna come through. It's gonna come through. It will either come through through you or come through through your kids. But it's gonna come through. Like you, you gonna you gonna take the call. Or your kids, or your kids, or your, you know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna take the call. 